All right, so welcome back, guys. Welcome back, stackers. Today we're at a tailgate auction. Um, this is the second or third installment of the tailgate auction. Someone last time asked how it works. Well, put your stuff on a table, and then the auctioneer comes around to your table and then auctions everything off. Uh, usually what he does is he does choice off the table. So if you want, let's say, a box of bottles, um, and someone else might want a box of comics, you choose its choice. So you bid against other people, even if you just want the bottles and they want the comics, you bid against each other and you don't know what other people want. Whoever gets the highest bid gets to choose whatever they want off the table. In some cases they do it on a floor or on the ground, um, and it's choice. That seems to be kind of the, the running thing with auctions uh, nowadays is they really do choice. It goes a lot quicker. That's how it kind of works. So for this video I'll walk around and show you guys what it's like um, at the auction itself in terms of what kind of merchandise is out there and then at the end. I'll definitely do a recap. So let's get out there and let's see what uh, what's here today. So picked up one row of stuff for 250. Got a little kit car here, some milk glass, stuff like that. Some purses. 
might be the holder for it. No, it's a wallet. I've seen someone using a hammer once because they didn't have one of these. A, a hammer, yeah, another side of hammer, they were just bashing it. Um, what else we got? Butterfly trivet, so that's that piece. Goes underneath. They used to be really hot back in the day and some glass things, but the auction's still going on. Let's get back out there, hopefully pick up some more stuff. So these are all haul, which used to be very collectible. I know around here it sells pretty well. That's um, up at where I sell that, about 30, 40 miles away. It's just not in demand, but if you have an antique mall around here, it's great. Even antique malls in Jersey, that stuff is very valuable. Okay, so here's the recap. I'm not going to go through everything uh, because a lot of this stuff is buried. I spent a total of $30. I bought, I think, two or three remaining lots. So, like, this kind of stuff was a remaining lot. It was with, like, three or four other boxes. I didn't really dig through it and look through it. Um, but, like, stuff like this. I'll bring it to the flea market. This one might give me a buck for it. If not, I can scrap it get 25 cents for the cord maybe 10 or cents for the rest of it scrap it's not my intended purpose but is with everything else what year is this bad boy it doesn't have a year on it i think that's metal so i have a buddy who buys all these kind of trucks sorry about the wind right now i know it is a little windy what else we got in here some other toys John Stott, nope, never heard of him. Bunch of different random things. It's one box. I bought this box and uh, don't know why I really bought it. Oh, yeah, because this planer looked pretty nice. This plane on it. Stanley. So it's not an old one. Some of the old ones bring really big money. That box, pretty decent box. This was in a row of stuff for everyone who likes Pyrex and glassware and stuff like that. Here's another one of those Delphite bowls, if you guys might remember. Um, I picked up a larger one recently. Uh, this is a part of the chip and dip set. This one's a smaller bowl. It's a uh, Delphite. So that's kind of cool. I've never ever, I never came across the small bowl ever. So I think I paid $250 for this. This is probably my favorite thing about everything that I bought today. We can probably pull this out from the back side. It's like a movie poster. It's like a movie poster. You see stuff is falling out. I love the sun right now. There we go. It's a movie poster. I think it's from the 70s. Very, very interesting. So that was in a row at the end. Got all sorts of things. You guys saw me pick up that. Got some video games here. Video games. I paid two bucks for a couple of those. There were some Sega games, I think, also in there, but they're pretty color faded. Basket was just assortment of stuff. You see, pick up the ore. Um, you guys saw me pick up a bunch of other things throughout the day. Got a couple things of tools, a bunch of books. This was in a row of stuff. So I pick up that. Cleaning supplies. Trivets. What's all in here? Got some older kitchen implements. Might be the right word. So I'll pick through that. Maybe I'll figure out something out of that. You got a suitcase. A bunch of other random things. Um, tried to kind of show it as I was picking it up. Because I knew it'd end up like a pile like this and be hard to kind of show everything. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to throw the contact information for the auctioneer less in the description below. If you guys are in the area and you want to check out one of these tailgate auctions, they're a lot of fun. Uh, he also does like a consignment auction every once in a while. Recently he just did a train auction before that. There are a bunch of 
there's a bunch of glassware and stuff like that so he does host a lot of good auctions and it's a very reputable company so if you guys want to check out that i'll put a link to his uh put a link to his website in the description below hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did please give it a big thumbs up as always have a great day keep living the dream peace